Hello students. In this series of videos, we're going to teach you everything you need to know about volume and capacity. So let's start by just defining the two words. So volume is simply the amount of three-dimensional space occupied by an object, such as this triangular prism in the middle of the page. Capacity is the amount that something can hold. So the difference between the two, um, a, a brick, for example, can have a volume. A glass can also have a volume, but it also has capacity because a glass can actually hold something. So volume, the amount of space occupied by a 3D object, and the capacity is how much that object holds. Now, we're only going to be doing in this series of videos um, studying the volume of prisms. So what is a prism? Well, a prism is a three-dimensional shape. It has two faces called the bases that are congruent, which means they're the same size and shape, and are parallel. So the two faces are parallel to each other. And that means that if you cut through the prism parallel to the two bases, the new faces called the cross sections are also congruent to the two bases. So here's a couple of examples. That's called a rectangular prism because the shape of the, the base is a rectangle. The base in this case is the left side and the other base is the right side. Hexagonal prism, the two bases are the two hexagons. A circular prism, the, uh, the two bases are the circles, top and bottom. And a pentagonal prism, the two faces here are the two pentagonal faces. So let's have a look at some cross sections to show you what we mean by that. So I'm going to run this little program. So here I have a cube, and I'm going to claim that the front and, fa uh, sorry, front and back faces are the two bases. And if I drag my slicer through it, as you can see, the new face called the cross section is parallel to and congruent to the two bases. Now it turns out for this particular shape, the cube, you can also use the top and bottom faces. Once again, as I slice through the object, the top and bottom faces are also congruent to the two bases. And similarly, I could use the left and right faces. Let me try a triangular prism. In this case, the two faces are the two triangles, sorry, the two bases are the two triangles. If I cut through the triangular prism at any point, parallel to the two bases, the new shape called the cross section is also a triangle of the same size and shape. Now what students often want to do when they talk about bases is say the base is what it sits on. So let's see if that works in this case. Okay, and it turns out that it doesn't. Okay, if we, if we consider that to be the base down there, the cross section is not congruent to it. So what it sits on isn't the base when you're talking about volume, the bases are the two shapes that are congruent and parallel. What about the two slopey sides? Well, once again, if you slice through those, as you can see in this little video, the, uh, the cross section is not consistent. They're all rectangles, but they're not exactly the same size and shape. And last shape you want to look at is a square-based pyramid. You know, is this a prism? Well, the front and back faces are certainly not um, parallel and congruent. And also the top and bottom faces are not parallel and congruent. In fact, there is no top face. And similarly, the ref left and right faces are not parallel and congruent. So a pyramid in general is not a prism. Okay, we'll leave it at that. And in the next video, we'll show you how to find the volume of any prism.